Hi guys, we are in Nazare, Portugal, which is in between Lisbon and Porto. It is on the Atlantic, so this place is known for amazing seafood, but above all, the biggest waves in the world. So it's the surfer Mecca. Right down here is Nazare, the actual town, and this is called Sitio. This is the, the town on top of the cliff, as you can see. And to get to and from, there is a funicular that goes every 15 minutes. And we got a week pass for a little under 10 euros. And here it is so windy. All the time it's windy, and it actually makes it cold here. So the biggest waves don't really happen until the winter and we're here in July so we're not going to see it uh, as they are when they get huge but Pablo and I were here a couple years ago for the World Surf Competition and it was incredible. Now let's go show you where the biggest waves do happen. Alright, so here they have a door. It says, welcome to the biggest waves in the world, North Beach. So there's actually a legend with the deer here that the deer ran off the cliff and died, but the knight's horse, even though there was a lot of fog, stopped and saved the knight after he prayed to Our Lady. So this is um, a statue for that and also for the surfers who dare to take on the big wave. Okay, so we are at North Beach over here. And the reason that the waves get so big is there is a massive underwater canyon right over here where the wave picks up and comes over. So this is extremely dangerous over here. Actually, when they do surf, they have a bunch of jet skis that are monitoring to make sure that nobody dies. Yes, we are here during COVID. Um, and it was just one euro to get in. And it is open Look, 10 to 6 p.m. The day that Lucas won, right here you can see the Nazane challenge. We had lunch with him right after at our favorite restaurant that we're gonna show you later. Super cool. This room is fantastic because it tells you all about how the wave is created. You can see the canyon, the center of the area, and they even found this is the remains of the World War II, the World War II bow. As you can see, there's nobody, basically nobody on this beach. Pablo and I went the other day and we lasted 30 minutes. It is so windy, so it's not a beach where you relax at. the big waves here but it also has a really beautiful historical center.
This is the legend in Sitio Nazare, where the deer jumps into the water, but the horse miraculously stops and ends up saving the night. My favorite restaurant? One of the <laughs> okay, you just saw how much we ate there. We had a whole plate of grilled fish, three types of fish, a whole bowl of salt potatoes, salad, and a liter of white wine. Guess what the total was? 42 euros. That's it. Are you kidding? In America, that would be triple the price. Amazing. <laughs> This is the main beach of Nazare. You can see here. So it's a lot busier than Sitio, the town up there. And here you can rent a, a caseta, they call them. They're, you know, little tents for seven euros a day. And this is when we enjoy the beach. And this was just one euro and 20 cents. Another beautiful thing of Portugal. <laughs> 